Hello wrestling fans and welcome back to Tweet Wrestling, the world of retro wrestling. In this video we'll be taking a look at 14 undervalued wrestling rookie cards or stickers. It's quite an interesting video and I'm sure this will help you pick out some wrestling card and wrestling sticker gems when you're searching in the future. I'd like to say a big thank you everyone for helping and supporting the channel over the year. I can't believe 12 months has flown by. I'm hoping that you still like the wrestling cards, the figures, the wrestling book, everything else retro old school wrestling and why not make another video on wrestling cards. So before then don't forget to like, share and subscribe, hit the notifications button. Let's take a look at the 14 most undervalued wrestling rookie cards and stickers on the market. Okay, let's start off then. And at number 14, we have Sid Justice, the maniacal, the most dangerous psycho Sid, WCW and WWF wrestling stickers from 1991. The one thing that lets this down for me is that there is about three or four sets of Sid Justice from 1991, but there is some gems out there, and he did go on to win wrestling gold with WWF in 1996, and he headlined a WrestleMania. So... The guy does have some importance, um, picking him up cheap, I mean he can get his rookie card for like 2 free quid, that is number 14 on to number 13. And this one is Scotty Flamingo Wrestling Stickers from the WCW Euroflash Sticker Album from 1992. I couldn't find anything earlier of Scott Levy and obviously he went on to play the Raven character Johnny Polo as well. But Raven was that character that broke through. And late 90s, he's pretty red hot. And he had a good run with WCW, ECW and WWE as well. He is actually a card collector, which is pretty cool. And to find these, they're not very easy to pick up. But when you do see them, bizarrely, they're again two, three pounds. So that makes it to number 13, on to number 12. And we have the iconic Sensational Sherry. This lady set the trend for female wrestling and you think of WWE, AEW now and you see some incredible talents but this one of Sensational Sherry there is the 1989 Game Time cards but also the 1990 Classic Games which is the pretty much the same set but I'd go for the 1989 myself Sensational Sherry I mean they don't get more important than that in the female wrestling world for me Having any of these signed up, well, that's got to be a, a bang on gem, hasn't it? So that one makes it in at number 12. And number 11 is the Rated R Superstar Edge. This one is from 1998, made by Comic Images. It's from the Superstars set, and it's card number 46. There is a Japanese BBM wrestling card of the same year. And that one also features Edge with Christian, which is pretty cool. I think that one is maybe the better rookie to own. But this one, super cheap, super affordable. It's a rated R superstar Edge. So that one makes it in at number 11. And number 10, well, it's got to be the boss's daughter, Stephanie McMahon. Made by Flair in 2001. This comes from the WrestleMania set. And it's card number 24. There is some gold versions which are very hard to get hold of, which is more desirable. But Stephanie McMahon, if she runs for president in 20 years' time or goes on to be the head of WWE for the next so ever, how many years, then her prominence in the world will go up. And picking this beauty up for 5 to $10, why the hell not? So that one makes it in at number 9. And number 10, this one is a true wrestling legend former part owner of wwe gorilla monsoon i do believe he had a share in wwf back in 1983 and that's how he got to keep his role with wwf not the not to the fact that he's just bloody awesome one of the best commentators we'll ever hear but searching the net i couldn't find anything earlier than 1989 for gorilla monsoon which is absolutely bizarre because he was wrestling since the 50s and why the hell not add this gem to your collection and i don't think any wrestling card channel or 
book or whatever's out there has picked up that this is his rookie card. So grill him on soon, buy him whilst you can, because I can see this one going up in value pretty soon. This card could have easily made it in at 1, 2 or 3, but it makes it in at number 8, and it's a 1, 2, 3 kid, Sean Waltman. Today many people look back at wrestlers like Dynamite Kid or Tito Santana and say how great of a wrestling talent they were. One, two, three kid was that. Sean Waltman, phenomenal wrestler. And this is why he makes it in at number eight. Also his rookie card, which is the action packed on the right. And that is fairly easy to come by. Then you've got the Merlin stickers from the same year. And I've been adding them to the collection because they're damn beautiful. Number 7, and this guy just doesn't get enough mentions in wrestling, and it is a giant, and this card is from 1998, it was made by Tops for WCW NWO. Back then, the NWO was absolutely massive, it put wrestling on the map, let's face it. The giant, well, he's appeared in a few movies, he's no mug, and he's done pretty well at the old wrestling, let's face it, so he makes it in at number 7. Anyway, let's have a word with our good friend, Zahn Morning. Hey, real quick, this is Zan from Wrestling With Cards on YouTube, Wrestling With Cards, the podcast, and the Worlds Collide Wrestling Card Podcast. If you're looking for even more great wrestling card content, please feel free to search out and check all of my content that I'm putting out across those three platforms. And I'd really appreciate if you'd subscribe and help spread the word on that. But enough of that, you can check that out on your own time. Let's get back to the show. Okay, back to it, and number six, wow... This one again, absolute wrestling legend, China from 1997, the WWE Panini Superstars album, and it's wrestling sticker number 155. Everyone bangs on about the rock stickers from this album, but for me, it's China that makes it. Look at the pose, look at the image of her face there. No one would mess with China back then, and she was that, well, should we call it reassurance for the DX back then? So China makes it to the list, and rightfully so, because she deserves a hell of a lot more credit in the wrestling card and sticker world. Number 5, and you're getting nasty sized. That's it, the nasty boys. Well, there is two card lots from this year. You've got on the left the classic games, and on the right the whiteboard the Merlin. Which is the hardest to get? I'd go with the Merlin set, but I'd say that the classic games, the blue border... They were the original rookie cards. The Nasty Boys were former WWF and WCW Tag Team Champions. These cards are very easy to pick up and they're super affordable. That's why they're making a list in at number 5. It's the Nasty Boys, Legends of the 90s. Why the hell not? Number 4, and I'm coming to your town in my pink Cadillac. It is the man himself, the Honky Tonk Man the greatest Intercontinental Champion of all time. And basically, that's why he makes the list. There is quite a few variants from 1987 of the Honky Tonk Man. I would say that the WWF Tops 1987 is a go-to card, but there's a K Supermatch card, there's Ice Cream cards, but hey, it's a Honky Tonk Man, he's a wrestling legend, and he deserves more credit. Before we head on wrestling fans, don't forget to check out Submit Wrestling Cards, we're over on Facebook and Twitter, we do have our own YouTube channel as well, if you love wrestling cards, me and Jack host a podcast there, I'm sure you love it, like, share and subscribe over there, on to wrestling card number 3. When I was searching out WCW wrestling cards last week, I come across that the Big Van Vader rookie card from the Topps 1992 WCW set was a whopping £1.79 with free postage. Leon White, Vader, obviously a former WCW wrestling champion. He went on to WWF in the late 90s, stuck about in the Attitude Era. He's a bona fide legend in Japanese wrestling. What the hell is going on when I'm paying £1.79 for a rookie card of this man's stature? On top of that, they do have some awesome cards in the WCW Tops 1992 set, so I'm very happy to add this one to the collection, and that one makes it in at number 3. Let's knuckle down now to number 2. Okay, slightly harder to find than Big Van Vader, but this one is a Blue Blazer WWF 1990 History of WrestleMania card number 89. Featuring two of the great wrestlers from our time, 
Mr. Perfect and the Blue Blazer, which is, of course, Owen Hart. Sadly, Owen left us in 1999 and we will always remember him. The card itself is getting quite hard to pick up these days, but it's fairly easy. It's still in that 10 to £15 pound bracket. It's a wrestling legend. It's Owen Hart, and I can only see this one going up in value in years to come. And number one of our most undervalued wrestling rookie cards goes to Paul Heyman. Yes, Paulie Dangerous from the WCW Championship Marketing set from 1991. When people are paying $51,000 for a Hulk Hogan rookie card, and this one is nine quid, there's something wrong in the world, isn't there, really? I've only got to say three letters to you, and you will agree with me on that. ECW, the former owner, the man that made it good, and, of course, wrestling manager, wrestling phenomenal legend, been in the business for, what, 35 years now, and we can still pick up his rookie card for an absolute gem in low price. And that completes the video really. It just goes to show that you don't have to spend thousands upon thousands of pounds in the wrestling card hobby. I've had some right gems here in my time. And when I seen this one up for $9, posted that is to the UK, I thought, do I or don't I? Obviously, I had to press a trigger on that one. But still, they're still out there. They're still at $9. And there's other great cards out there too. If you've got any wrestling gems, wrestling card gems that you want to share with us, let us know. And we'll try and get a video out there. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this. We do love you here at Tweet Wrestling getting involved also. I'm over on Twitter and Instagram. So thanks for checking it out, wrestling fans. Stay tuned for more great videos. Goodbye for now.